When it comes to stopping procrastinating, the first thing that I want to do is break task into manageable steps. So imagine a pizza with different slides. The whole pizza is the main goal that you want to accomplish and those slides are perhaps increments of time, perhaps different sessions. So let me give you an example. If you want to accomplish, for example, um, you know, finishing this essay that you have to write and it will take you, you know, long hours to finish and whatnot. So just thinking about it, it gives you anxiety already, which causes you to keep on procrastinating. Oh, I will do it maybe another day when I'm less tired. Maybe uh, next week I will do it with my friends. It might be easier, whatever it might be. Just slice it out. Just think, for example, okay, I have to write let's say, uh, you know, 15 pages. So what I will do is uh, I have two weeks to accomplish this goal. I will do the math and see if I complete half a page every day, if in two weeks it will be done. And now when you only have to think about doing half a page, it's more manageable and it's easier for you to start it. So break big, big tasks into manageable steps and that will help immensely. The second thing that I do is I prioritize the main tasks, the more important ones. So I identify the most important tasks and tackle those first. So if I have to do a big task, which might be, for example, study, uh, you know, this book and this other book and this other book and this other book, I might take the subjects that are the most important for me right now in my life and I would just tackle those first. When I prioritize things, what happens is that the things that are not that important, now my brain is not thinking much about them, and it's more focused about the things that is an actual priority right now. So if you have a to-do list, don't equal every single thing that you have to do. Rather, put on top the things that are more of a priority, the first three things are your priority. Just focus on those and see how you can manage those as soon as possible. The next thing that I do is setting deadlines. There is nothing as powerful as setting a deadline for yourself. And if you are doing something in a group, it's even more efficient and more effective. So even if you don't have a, you know, a, a real deadline when something needs to get done, if you set your own, it will create a sense of obligation to complete that task. So you will see yourself saying, oh man, I was supposed to do this today because you set yourself a deadline to do it today. And so when you say, I will do this by Friday, and on top of that, you add accountability. So it needs to be given to somebody or it needs to be, uh, you know, um, applied. If there is a, a, another sense of another party that is waiting for this task to be done, it will give you pressure, it will put more pressure. So it will allow you to complete that task even faster and actually start working towards it because you have a deadline. The next thing that I do is I eliminate distractions. So what I would advise you is identify what commonly sidetracks you from work and try to eliminate it. This might mean downloading apps that allows you to block certain other apps like social media and things like that. Uh, creating a dedicated workspace or setting your phone on airplane mode, whatever allows you to focus better and is considered as a distraction in your life, get rid of it. Sometimes it might be people, sometimes it might be actual devices, sometimes it might be food, sometimes it might be the environment. Just get rid of it and you will find focus. Remember that focus is, is basically the un in existence of distractions. Focus is always there. The things that come and go are the distractions. Get rid of those and you will find focus. The next thing is visualizing the end result. If you visualize how it's going to feel and who are you going to become and what you are going to acquire once you complete this goal and you actually intentionally sit down and visualize it. Me, for example, what I do is I have in the you know, on the door of my bathroom while I brush my teeth, I have certain sentences that reminds me on a daily basis, every time I brush my teeth, of what I'm trying to accomplish and where I'm trying to be. And so that helps me visualize, which creates an emotional connection with what I'm trying to achieve, and it makes it easier. The next thing is start with the most difficult task. 
doing the hardest task first can make what comes after seem easier in comparison. So if you have, you know, in a daily basis, certain responsibilities, start with the ones that are the hardest ones. For example, for me, before I start, you know, getting into work and things that are not that heavy on my, you know, my system, what I do is I do my Quran revision early in the morning, 8 a.m. And so 8.30, I already read to my teacher. And so that's done. And that's what takes the most amount of mental strength because you have to sit down and remember and read. And, and so I do it first thing in the morning. That way it's done. And then I do whatever is less uh, difficult. The next thing is committing to a small start. Instead of committing to complete that task that day or that month or that week, or whatever it might be, commit to working on it just for five minutes. Often it's more the beginning that's hard, like actually getting into it. But once you are into it, your body starts to feel this. We already started, so might as well do more kind of thing. So commit to a small start. Just commit to working on it for five minutes, for 10 minutes, and it will give you a boost of dopamine because you have set yourself a goal and now you have accomplished that goal. So it will motivate you to keep on going. The next thing is environment design. Set up your environment in a way that makes it easy for you to start the task. For instance, if you are trying to study, then have everything that you need to study in a place where it's tidy, where even looking at it, it makes you feel good about starting your work. And you have already previously prepared that. So now you're gonna feel more, you know, motivated and obliged to actually start doing the work. Remember that oftentimes overcoming procrastination is about building habits and about dropping bad habits. So it might take time and you might not see instant results, but celebrate small victories and stay consistent in your efforts. And inshallah, you will start seeing more productivity from your side. If you like this video and you like this subject, uh, check this one out that you see on screen right now where I go more in depth on how to apply this in your life. And I'll see you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum.